in this problem, we have a type of graph called a scatter plot, where there are all these dots kind of scattered around. In this graph, each of these dots represents a person, and it shows two things about that person. On the y-axis, it shows what their pay is, how, how much they earn in dollars per hour. So this person right here earns about $14 per hour. And then on the x-axis, it shows how many years of experience they have. So this person who's earning $14 per hour has a little over 10 years of experience. This type of graph is really useful for trying to decide if two things are related. So for example, is pay related to years of experience? Looking at this graph, I'd say yes, because we tend to see the dots bunching up around the shape of a line. So if I were to draw in a line sort of in the middle of all that, it might look something, something like this. We would call this a line of best fit. It's just an approximation, but um, you know, it's a line kind of that shows the general shape of, of these points. And what this line shows is that the more experience you have, as experience goes up, so does pay. And I guess that makes sense. You should, if you've been a long time at a, at a certain job, they should give you raises. You should have an increase in pay. So all of that makes sense. In this particular problem, what they want us to do is draw in this line of best fit and then try to make an equation, write an equation that describes that line, and then use that equation to actually make some predictions uh, about some other things. So let's see how that works here. First of all, how are we going to make an equation out of this line that we've just drawn on the graph? Well, the first thing you need is a slope. And for a slope, you need two points. All of this is going to be an approximation, so don't worry about it if it's not perfectly accurate. Your answer is going to be a little different uh, than someone else's answer, but it's going to be in the same ballpark. So let's look here if we can find some points. You know, right here at 2, it seems to be about halfway between the 8 and the 10. So I think the point 29 is on here, or close enough. And then let's see, where else does it look like it crosses the grid lines? Well, here at 8, 12. Looks like it comes pretty close to being on the mark there. So I'm going to pick those two points. Now, slope is rise over run. So the change in the y over the change in the x. Um, here we go from 9 to 12. That's a rise of 3. And our run goes from 2 to 8. That's 6. So we've ended up with a slope of 1 half. Now, you might get some other fraction, or you could convert this to a decimal, too. Either way works. Uh, and if it's not the same as 1 half, don't worry about it. Um, this is all an approximation. So now we can start building an equation. We're going to use the slope-intercept form, and that is y equals mx plus b. In this form of an equation for a line, the m represents the slope. So we can put in our 1 half right there. And then we just need to find this b, and we'll have our equation. Once we've got the slope, the way we can find b is to plug in a value for x and y, and then solve for b. And we can just take one of our points. These points are on the line. And this is an x value, and this is a y value. So I'm going to plug in 9 for y here. And we'll put in 2 for x. And let's see, 1 half times 2 is 1. And then I'd need to subtract 1 from both sides. So I would get b equals 8 there. So our whole equation is going to be y equals 1 half x plus 8. Now, once we have this equation, we can use it to predict any outcome along this line. And in part b, they're asking us to predict the hourly pay rate for a cashier with 10 years of experience. The pay is in the y, so we're going to find y. The, the experience is an x, so we're actually going to plug in 10 for x. So this is going to be y equals 1 half times 10 plus 8. 1 half times 10 is 5. 5 plus 8 is 13. So y equals 13. So someone who's had 10 years of experience should be getting $13 an hour. And if we look at this 10 years of experience and go up to our line, there we are at 13. So it all checks out. So that is how to draw a line of best fit for a scatter plot, make an equation from the line, and then use that equation to predict some values.